What's going on, everybody? LK here. Today, here with my boy, Notice Asakura. Here, it was good, everybody. Maybe you've missed it because they've been kind of quiet about this, but there is going to be a Hunter x Hunter fighting game. They're actually showing this off for the first time. Oh, man, they're at... already about to kill you. You pronounce the X. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Is they're it just already Hunter, on Hunter? your head, bro. Yeah, it's just Hunter oh, Hunter. You don't say God. the X. A lot okay. of people do, but then, like, the people who don't, they like, <laughs> they're like, you don't, you don't pronounce the X. The X is silent. Fake fan exposed. So that that's the whole point, right? So <laughs> they're showing this game off at EVO Japan for the first time. Is a 3v3, officially a 2D fighter, not an arena fighter. So Bless. as you can tell, I have never watched a show. I know quite literally nothing about this anime. Like D Dragon Ball is like the most normie. Yeah, I was like, okay, I know some, dra at least the show I got. And then there's all this other lore. And, and I was like, okay, I don't know any of these characters. I know these guys because I watched the show up until basically like the whole thing. Not, not even up until, basically like the whole thing because it was on TV. But some of the other stuff, like Naruto, I'd be smoked. One Piece, smoked. If they need Bleach, I'm good. I watch Bleach, actually. I got a amount of Bleach. Out of all the ones, that's the one you watched? Someone told me to watch it. <laughs> How long ago? told me to watch it. Uh, I was definitely in college. So okay. this is a quiet that, that makes a, a little bit more ago. sense, I guess. Yeah. And I, and I got through the vampires, too. That, that, that's, that's the power of it. Once fighting games started, dude, it was over. It was over. It was GG's for almost everything. I, was, I put everything into fighting games. The plan is today is we're going to try to build a roster for hunter hunter no x just like dragon ball <laughs> fighters it's not dragon ball fighter z so i have this handy dandy chart where i look at all the dragon ball fighters launch characters and mm -hmm. put them into fighting game archetypes right we got pro attack parentheses easy you know we need forms mid suspensers mobility characters mix-up characters shotgun characters zoner characters Unique characters, knockdown characters, graphic characters, and composite characters. So I'll try to give like a one sentence ex explanation for all of these just to be quick. Just talking about these could be their own video. Protagonist character, that's the main character. They're easy. Mid dispensers, they punch you. Mobility characters, move fast, zoom, zoom. Mix up characters, they go high, they go low. It's kind of tricky. Shotgun characters do a lot of damage. Zoner characters run away. People hate them. Unique characters are just that. Knockdown characters knock you down and they try to win. They're very cheap. Streets love that. Grappler, you already know that's Zangief. And composite character, that's a character that steals your moves or has like moves that other characters have. That's probably the best way to describe them. So we're gonna try to take these archetypes. We're gonna try to match them the hunter hunter characters to try to build a theory roster. Sounds good. Sounds fun. Yeah. So what I asked Lotus to do was to show us characters i'm trying to we could try to figure out what type of character they should be mm -hmm. and then try to get a roster of around like 24 25 ish it sounds like a plan i, I got my okay. list pulled up here i actually i was telling uh, okay before we started the video that i actually wrote down a lot of stuff and some notes and things and like you know in a word document uh and put in more effort into this than i normally do for some of my own videos which is why i made the joke yeah. like i'm hiking about to just steal this and upload it to my own channel but it's fine because I, I, I'm actually glad to be a part of it. And it's a lot of fun. Hopefully the video uh, goes well and people appreciate it. First things first, we have our literal protagonist of Hunter Hunter, and that is Gon Freaks, who is essentially, as you would expect, probably going to be the protagonist slash all rounder character. And uh, my notes here that I have written down for Gon is that his uh, his signature signature technique is the Jajankin, right? Which is just, you know, rock, paper, scissors. So <laughs> essentially, like his most infamous move is just a really strong punch. So mid dispenser, if there ever was one protagonist, if there ever was one. Uh, he also has scissors and paper, which like the scissors is like he turns into like this little like key sword, key blade thing with two fingers and then mm -hmm. paper is a projectile. But yeah, protagonist, generic, easy to play dispenser type of character around there. That's that's definitely going to be gone. This is your he Goku, like your it. Ryu. Yeah, I'll say this is your Goku, your Ryu Ken. Like, yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, he looks like it. Honestly, no notes here, especially as soon as you said protagonist. I was like, yeah. And as a bonus, so if people who are watching this haven't played arc system works game before they always try to make protagonist characters good starting from like persona days they were like yo we can't have the main character be bad <laughs> so also just a just a little side note here probably going to be easy and good wouldn't surprise me wouldn't surprise me and Gon is actually he might look a little bit goofy and like generic or whatever but what i will say is that he's he's a surprisingly like interesting and like pretty cool character i'm not i don't normally latch on to like the main characters of most series mm. so much they're rarely like one of my favorites but he's probably like a top five favorite character for me uh in wow. his series moving on next we have uh his best friend his rival killua zoldik 
the thing too about hunter hunter is that hunter hunter has this reputation of like oh it, it might look all like happy go lucky and lighthearted, but it's actually all dark and serious and that's why you have this edgy ass picture of him uh right here but wow. uh what would you expect killer Will to be on i know you can take a look around and see you probably see some lightning and stuff so so normally when you have protagonist pairs because mm -hmm. obviously you i mean you said it best friend rival so i would also say protagonist but they don't necessarily have to be like the same type of character so for arc six games they tend to be the same but this is 18 so that they frankly i literally do not know what type of game this is going to be <laughs> because each aiding game that i have played even though like i can't say i've put like a ton of effort into them mm -hmm. are drastically different so they made like marvel's capcom 3 but they also made dnf duel right so those are two very different very 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 different fighting games usually what would end up happening is that like let's say the last character was named gong is mm -hmm. that how you say it properly so there's one that's like oh i'm pun i'm a normal easy character like ryu but i'm punch guy and then the other is like oh i'm a normal easy character like ryu but i'm like mid-range zoning guy so that's kind of what uh the vibes that killua gives me compared to gong i would think i or i would expect killua to be more of like rush down kind of mobility character with mm. some mix or whatever because basically his thing is like He's an assassin. He comes from a family of assassins, right? So he's like actually really strong, really fast. And that's a common trend with a lot of these characters that they have like superhuman, like strength and speed. It's more notable for some characters than others, but he is one that is definitely like a, a, a heavy speed character. He also has like lightning powers, right? So like one of his abilities is called Thunderbolt, where he can actually stun the opponent and then like follow up with an attack. So I kind of think of that as like, maybe that's some sort of setup, like a Majin Buu fat throw or something like that, where he gets a mix yeah, up like there. Yeah, like some knockdown. Yeah, yeah, energy. yeah. So yeah. Uh, he also has like this, his ultimate technique is called like God Speed, where he has like super crazy enhanced speed and like reactions and everything like that. So I don't know if you if that would end up being like an install for him or like his ultimate move, like his super or what the case is, but speed is definitely like a huge thing with his character and then the lightning abilities. So that's kind of more how I would see it. Mm -hmm. Like they could give him like projectiles and stuff. That's not really something that he showcases a lot, that, but there are some characters who are definitely a lot more reliant on projectiles than he is. You'd have to, this would be pretty uncommon to have like a character that's supposed to be like a protagonist character. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, he's one of the main characters in the game. Right. But he has like also unique elements. You'd have to like apply it in like a simple way or something like that. They could definitely like dumb it down. And that's another thing too, mm -hmm. is that like, because it's hunter hunter much like dragon ball I, i'm gonna assume that the skill floor like the, the barrier of entry for this game is probably gonna be pretty low like in general it's probably mm -hmm. gonna be an easier game to play and it's, it's interesting to think about how they're gonna do this because i feel like the nen which is like the power system in hunter hunter so think of key from dragon ball or chakra from naruto it's like one of the more intricate and interesting power systems so you have very generic stuff like go and get stronger he punches harder then you have other ones where it's like oh i can summon this creature or i can control this person like a puppet or I can uh, the kill against like lightning powers and stuff. So it's like really versatile and like really diverse, almost akin to like Jojo. Not that they're similar, but just in the sense that like it can be very generic or it can be very unique and specific. So uh, how they're going to handle that is going to be something that's interesting to see. Um, but yeah, that's Killua. So I, I think he'll definitely be more of a speedster type of archetype. He might still be simple to play. He might not be too heavy on the mix up necessarily, but just have like just fast generic attacks. I could also see that as well. Uh, but the next character we have is the third member of the main group that is Karapika. Uh, any thoughts on Karapika at first glance? This this dude reminds me of a character from Xenogears. They I think his name's Billy actually. So you think <laughs> Karapika's a guy? Did I did I miss? Is no, you, 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 you didn't, but some people do think Karapika's a girl at first. No, I, I thought there was a guy at first sight. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means I watch a lot of anime. But this reminds me of a character from Xenogears. I don't know. I need someone to tell me if I'm trolling, but it, the design reminds me Kind of that character. His name's Billy. I'm pretty sure. It's like a he's like a gun priest. That character's actually sick, actually. In that game. So uh, that's the vibes I get from him. But there's stuff on his hands. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, punch guy. But then also, there's an infinite symbol on him. So actually, if I'm if is. I'm honest, I never thought about if that symbol actually means anything on his clothes, that infin infinite symbol. But Kropika is actually low key, but not so low key, one of the most broken characters in the story. Um, no. But <laughs> but like, so so here's the thing. So this is, he's essentially Sasuke. And I, I like, when I say that, like, I really mean it because you see how he's got like these glowing red eyes and stuff like that. He actually has a shotgun. Mm -hmm. But Kropika came first. So low key Sasuke ripped off his thing. But Kropika's okay. whole thing is that like, his entire clan was assassinated and his clan has this ability to like their eyes turn red and they get like way stronger and scarier and like way more like 
uh, aggressive and whatnot and unlock these special abilities when their emotions are like spiked and peaked and uh, yeah it's it's, it's not, i know you haven't really seen naruto like it's it sound familiar at all mm -hmm. uh but crack actually came first but the thing with him is that he is what's called a specialist in the series and basically uh the way characters get their net abilities is that you have to make some sort of like sacrifice or like some sort of like exchange like uh, equivalent exchange to get your your ability or your power and basically he put his whole life on it so that he could just go god mode um when he uses his ability now the abilities we've seen could be done like they could either make him like od broken or they can make it kind of simple if you're asking me i kind of feel like crappy might be a zoner which how do you make a zoner broken well there's a couple of ways i don't know if it's necessarily good for, I, I don't know if it's necessarily good for the health of the game <laughs> um but like he has like this ball and chain that he uses and like this chain jail where like he like traps enemies and like it, the 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 I don't know what you want to call it. The equipment you see on like his hand and wrist, like that is a crucial part of how we've seen him fight so far. And he, it's like one of the most notable ways he's fought. So like, I feel like that screams like mid ranger zoner, but that's just me. Um, but in a fight that he had with this character named uh, Uvogin, it's uh, very apparent that that was one of his main ways of, of, of doing combat. It is a ball and chain, then mid range and further to be pretty good. And especially since the first two characters he talked about, like one is punch guy. So we do need, even though I know people don't like zoning, we do need a character that attacks from far. Cause right. also it's going to be three B three too. So there needs to be a lot of combinations of things that you can do. So people can mm -hmm. like mess around. I he doesn't agree, look like I a agree. zone at first glance though. There he are does, some characters he at all. And he's not a character that if you asked me at first, what would he be? And I would say zoner. But like when I think about it and when I look back mm -hmm. at like his fight, I was like, it's it's kind of a zoner <laughs> there's some characters you see them like visually and you're like yeah that's a defensive character uh, actually like the first time i saw cooler i was like that's a zoner i kind of think axel like from guilty gear when i, yeah. when I think of like how he fights you know what i'm saying so like yeah, it, it could be yeah. more mid-range doesn't necessarily have to be full screen but that's kind of mm -hmm. what i think of and then again he has like the scarlet eyes thing it's like a lot of these characters have things that could be looked at as like some sort of install or maybe like a super and he's one of those characters where I feel like the the red eyes thing is something that is crucial to his character and like they have to implement somehow but i just i don't know the best way of doing that but i guess only time will tell in the name of the title of the game it's called nan impact so they will probably be doing something with that right i hope Some so type of special mechanic yeah i hope so next up we have the fourth and final main member of the group and that is lay audio this is the character everyone wants to play because he's wearing a suit and they're like oh he's saucy that's, that is my first impression. Leorio is actually a huge dork. He's not nearly as serious as he looks in something. Like this is a better representation of Leorio than this is. Like if I'm keeping <laughs> yeah. it in the stack, this character yeah. is a huge dork. Um, But we actually haven't seen a whole lot from him in terms of how he fights. Uh, he The only like real notable ability he showcases that he landed a punch on somebody who's supposed to be like like that nigga you know what i'm saying like he 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 punched somebody like at this they were in a meeting or whatever and he did like this little teleport punch that caught him off guard and then the dude like ate it like it wasn't i was like oh yeah that's an interesting ability and he like demonstrated it but with like way more power and doing like a bunch of them all at once he was like yeah you could also do like this and so he's somebody who like he wants to go to school to like be a doctor and everything like that and i was like why he became a hunter was to, to get because like when you become a hunter in this world you get access to like all different types of like secrets and powers and like connections and things like that and um so he has like really high like uh knowledge like he has a lot of knowledge like medical abilities and everything like that we haven't really seen a ton from him. i put him down as like protagonist and just mids dispenser like he doesn't really show in a whole lot so like i can punch and do a kick and maybe he's like maybe mid-range with like the teleport punch i don't know it's kind of hard to like like he's obviously going to be in the game but i just i still yeah. don't really know what they're going to give him from just from what you said he has uh like mid dispenser vibes and like mobi a, a mobility option and also like teleports depending on how fair the game is can be either not scary at all or like mixed god so i feel like his is going to be more so than not scary at all vibe if they, if they give it to him if i'm being honest I, all i'll say about aiding is my assumption is oh you're like he has a teleport anime my assumption is mixed god like i don't think i don't think it's like dragon ball where they try to make everyone super fair because mm -hmm. it's only because of the company that's making it see i feel you on that but when i when i think of it like i feel like this is just goku black where that teleport really not going ah. much if they give it to <laughs> that would be nice streets would like that i'm not gonna lie but yeah that's leorio not a whole lot to really talk about when it comes to his combat but next up we have hisoka i'm sure you've seen this face around for sure uh wow okay this is a character at a glance, the only thing I can think of is that he's a unique character. He doesn't I, look I, like I wrote him anything. down as unique. Yes. Oh, hit that. Okay. He doesn't look like anything. He looks. He has like such a unique design mm -hmm. that he probably does unique stuff. And like, and when I I know it's it's like such a simple way to put it. like oh they're unique, but it's like 
like Majin Buu and DBFC, you know. Okay, like, I want you to stop. Special I want you to stop right so. there. I only wrote. So I, there's a lot to talk about with Ahsoka, but I wrote down yeah. one note. Fat Boo. This fat is, Boo. Yeah, this, there this you is, go. This, this is this is Fat Boo. He, this is so Fat his, Boo. His nan ability is called Bungee Gum, which has the properties of both rubber and gum and fat throw, knockdown, mix up. That that's mm-hmm. that's what Hisoka's character is going to be for sure. Restricting mm-hmm. his opponents, mixing them up, set play like. This is this is the the hunter hunter equivalent to like Fat Boost play style in my opinion, and like he can do a little bit more than just that. But I feel like for archetype's sake, that's that's how they're gonna create this character. Like he can do hand to hand combat, he can do all the other stuff, and I'm sure he gonna have that. But you, you, unique knockdown character. Glad that I got these on site, bro. Honestly. All right, this next one I, I had them written down in a different order, but I feel like it makes more sense to do the next. But here we have mm-hmm. Biscuit Kruger, who is actually not her age. I don't care about her age. Google, stop trying to auto correct me. Uh, we have Biscuit wow, wow. Kruger. Actually, the the sensei for a period of time for going in Kilua. It's actually one thousand years old. Okay, <laughs> so the sensei really scrawny looking, and that has a muscle form. I'm saying this is the shotgun character. I think she's got to do a ton of damage for no reason. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know about difficulty. So the thing about like characters that are shotguns, you obviously that it's not like the only thing they do is a ton of damage. They're using doing something else the easiest way to combine it would be like okay shotgun and like mid, especially if they're gonna make the game fair which ish qu- quotations ish like dbfc fair quotations ish right 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 shotgun plus mid dispenser or shotgun plus like rush down offense so not like knockdown but like oh i have this thing it's safe if you respect me i do this other thing that's a mix up if you get hit you die that's the vibes i get from this character i know it sounds awfully specific bisky uh, despite the way that she looks yeah that's her nickname bisky yeah. um she actually has abilities that heal people <laughs> wow hey. she can she can she has like so which one of her abilities is that she summons this beast in cookie and cookie can heal people um and so i'm thinking like she could become more of a support character like like uh krillin sensu being how like you restore blue mm-hmm. life i would see her having something like that where her assist or she has an ability that recovers like all the recoverable health for whatever ally is currently swapped out on the team However, she does also have the muscle form where she gets like obviously superhuman strength and um, that's actually her true form. So the smaller form is like her is is her like hiding her real appearance, which is the big muscular girl that she uh, turns into. And uh, I was thinking like, yeah, shotgun or potentially grappler like and I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of where my head was at with her. Uh, We've seen her in combat a, a, a little bit, but nothing that like really demonstrates anything where it's like, oh, it has to be this, in my opinion. Mm. Her as a grappler would be quite an addition to fighting in grappler lists, I think. Because <laughs> most, most grapplers are either like, especially if you're talking slow grapplers too, because she has like the big muscle form, right? Mm-hmm. So it's basically when before La Diva, the last like unique looking grapp, I don't know, they're all the same. <laughs> I don't know what to say. They're all the same. They're I mean, all big, just, slow guy. Like the muscular you know? form just screams grappler, you know? Yeah, 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 for sure. That, that would actually pretty be pretty dope if she was a grappler. Yeah, I, it would also just be funny because, like, this is a grappler, but she also heals her allies. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, yeah, that's weird. that's different. That's new. Another um, thing, low mm-hmm. key, low key, this is not on the list because this doesn't actually exist in Dragon Ball, but she could be a bow change character. That too, yeah. I, I didn't even yeah. consider that, but that, that is something that is not yeah, beyond the realm of possibility. Character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not because I didn't put it on the list because they don't have it in Dragon Ball. Right, right. You know, missed opportunity in my opinion. But yeah, that's something I think I actually do for her. If she has like skinny mode and big mode, and then in, like in muscle mode, she's like a grappler and stuff. And then in small mode, she does other stuff. Like that'd be that yeah. also be that, that would actually be really sick. That'd be really yeah. that'd be a really interesting design. That'd be really cool. So. Fresh eyes, fresh eyes. That's why we have Netro, who was a character that actually was shown in the uh, the trailer that we got the little thirty seconds or whatever. Um, but yeah, old he's man, dope. old man, he's sensei dope. type character. Any thoughts? He's dope. He's, he's, he's dope. dope. He's dope. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is a secret that people didn't know until Roshi. Mm-hmm. I actually like playing old man characters, but they, they just never put them in fighting games. You know, I play like Valkenhayn, for example, and then uh, I play Roshi. It's like, it, it's not common in anime games. Like, and also, I don't like corny dudes like Cliff, so. This dude looks sick. One. You think Cliff is cool, but not Roshi. That's interesting. <laughs> Roshi. I mean, I can I understand mean, liking. Assist... Ro- I can understand liking Roshi's gameplay, but Roshi as a character is awful. But it's oh, fine. of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the but he plays really fun. That's he's fair. He got that assist. He had the he had the assist. The, the game saving assist. assist. Uh, that they nerfed specifically because of you. We don't talk about that. <laughs> oh, this dude Netero. Mm-hmm. 
a couple things. Usually, old men in fighting games, because they're old, they, they, they all do this, by the way. They're like, oh, they're old, so they're not power type characters, so they have to be tricky. So I would lean towards mobility and mix up and unique playstyle over more simple playstyles. Okay. Just because he's old. I'll give you unique. The rest of that, I don't think apply. His whole thing is power. Uh, Word. He is, I, I put him down a shotgun. But here's here's the thing, mm. right? So he's like ridiculously strong. Like I practiced this one punch for 10,000 years and now I'm the, I have the strongest punch in the world type character. You know what I'm saying? Um, but he also has this ability where like he summons like you, you see like this this construct behind him in this drawing or whatever. So he summons this thing and kind of commands it at will to attack for him. You know, you know, uh, you know, Madara and Naruto, right? Like, I know you haven't really like, watched Naruto. Like, is, that, is this a sand dude or no? No, Madara is the, the, the Uchiha who should have been dead, but was actually the mastermind behind everything all this time. He, 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 oh, he, he's the one yeah, who like yeah, fought yeah, the yeah. entire world like Dolo. You know, I'm sure you've seen that clip before. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the long yeah. black hair with the red armor. Mm hmm. Um, so Madara fights a lot with what's called the, the Susano, which is like that big, it's easier if I just show you real quick. This is Madara Uchiha and he fights a lot using this blue Susano behind him, right? And I feel like what they could do with Netro is the same thing that they've done, uh, in the storm games where he essentially fights the entire time using that and Netro could fight using that. Cause I like a lot of his techniques and abilities that we saw and like his, like his one, like big, crazy major fight that we did see, it was a lot of him controlling and using that thing uh in order to fight so that, that's definitely one route that they could take or he could just be Ms. dispenser and punch really really hard i feel like the other route is more interesting but maybe I, when it comes to like balancing and things like that i'm glad it's not my job to figure out how that would work but <laughs> that's that's kind of the, the idea i had i was like well, they can make him fight like monitor from the storm games where so I, he's not I, he's not necessarily like a puppet character but it, mm -hmm. the closest thing i can think to compare it to is like being a puppet character i mean one i fumbled and i forgot that Soros is is, is punch guy and not, actually not unique but then that's from Grand Blue. Mm -hmm. But then um, there's actually there's more than one type of puppet character, you know. So like when people say puppet, they always think like Carl Zato, like that style. But there's also like uh, you know Carl has a has a dad that's in Blaze Blue named mm -hmm. Relius. Right. And you have like instead of doing all the fancy negative edge stuff, like the the doll you command with just buttons. It's just buttons that send it. So the precedent is there to have a character like that. I mean, it's also eating, so they can meme. All right, next character I have on the list is Crollo Lucifer. Oh, another suit guy. Yeah. This one, this this dude's actually cool though. Yeah. To me but, anyway. Okay, I, the, the, cause it comes from these, this is all the first time I'm seeing most of these characters. Mm -hmm. And in many, I don't know what it is about fighting game players, but if someone's wearing a suit or if their theme involves a saxophone, people just lose it. Yeah, they, it, yeah. It's, it's one of those things where people like to pretend like they're more a distinguished like uh i don't know like oh this character's into jazz and wears suits yup that's that's sauce that's drip that's i'm so cool for playing this character I mean, like, <coughs> slayer uh, yeah yeah I yeah uh, uh, that's, yeah that's anyway. one of them. <laughs> this character <laughs> his last name is lucifer so yeah, unfortunately i get some edgelord vibes naturally too I, honestly i'll keep it real like this is his is other it? look which is way more edgelord than you know the suit this is look. uh only only if he's s tier character for me i'll keep it real so he's asking you any, any idea like how he would play or what, what kind of his thing might be it, there's nothing here that indicates or shows like what he would do okay so one there's certainly I, I don't know how much this might exist but uh there's mode change potential in him too if he has just like two visual forms you mm -hmm. know uh outside of that since all i have is just since he wears a suit slash he has an edge lord mode there's a couple of things he could do right now i'm i'm just basing it off what i've seen of characters that look like this so he could be a m mobility character mm -hmm. um he could be a zoner mm -hmm. those would be my main two types mid dispenser unlikely uh the other version if the other version ends up being its own character i, I guess i'm kind of jumping ahead of stuff but uh that could actually be a combination of mid defensor and mix up also i don't think he'd be a mode yeah. change character this I, to me this is more so it's not different modes it's just it's mm -hmm. him dressed differently at this point mm -hmm. in the story um but he's actually unique i would say he i say when i say he's he's move steel he's android 21 he oh his his whole thing is that he takes other people's abilities and uses them for himself 
Okay, it worked. Kabbalah. Yeah. So <laughs> yes. Yeah. So <laughs> that 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 yes. that's his whole thing. He had, he has this little book and he takes every, everyone else's abilities and uses them. And in some instances, uses them better than they can. <laughs> that's uh, I would say that's like his entire thing. So there might be some zoning I would see a lot in there as well, just throwing out different spells, projectiles, abilities, or whatever. Um, but also just being able to like whether it's through a command grab or some sort of absorption ability, or every time I do this move, like he takes somebody's ability and then has it for however long the whole round or the rest of the mm -hmm. game, or until he steals something else, whatever. That's how mm -hmm. I would see this character working. For like, uh, for like my GG players, you probably have never fought something like this before. But if you played DBFZ, there, there's not just 21. I use 21 just because uh, right. she's in the launch roster. But Baby has that too. So there's there's more than one character that has like, oh, I can take your moves, lol, mm -hmm. like in different ways. So there's actually a bunch of ways they could they could implement it, which is pretty cool. Moving on, next we have mm -hmm. Machi uh, from the Phantom Troop. Machi, finally a waifu. It's time. You know what I'm saying? It took, it took long enough, but we got one retention back anyway some of these screenshots she's wearing like doichi clothes kind of so again i'm gonna be leaning towards mobility and mix up here mm -hmm. as as a primary too but i also feel like these type of characters can be zoners they just never let them they're like if you even like look anything like a ninja style character <laughs> you have to just be fast and be rushed out right so even though in my head ninjas are supposed to be like sneaky aka you should be zoning and mm -hmm. setting traps they're all like run at you rush down so, so those are my main spread of options so here's the thing you you said some great things because her whole thing so machi i wrote her down for mobility and then i wrote you didn't have this as an archetype but it just is this is what she is i wrote trap character um yeah i would actually say zoners are trap you could put that on his owner for sure all right for sure uh for so sure, she has sure. so like her nen ability is called nen stitches right where she mm -hmm. can like reattach limbs or like you know things like that soap wounds and everything actually i think i kind of low-key saw it here earlier but like these mm -hmm. like threads that she has she can use that to like sew people back up or like reattach their arms and stuff there's a character who gets their arms severed and she puts it back on for them like really quick she's also is like that's another thing speed mobility that is obviously a, a big part of her character as well um but she also has like uh these like threads that she can use to like set traps and like catch people or like strangle them or whatever they're like really really strong threads she i think she said something like uh like i could stretch my threads like around the entire globe but then it'd only be as strong as like cotton but if i stretch it like only like a yard or a mile or whatever then i could lift like several tons or something like that so i i would say that she's a trap character like whether it's setting things on the ground or putting setups in the air or whatever that's that's how i would see a character like her playing with maybe using the threads as well as kind of like a mid-range zoning type of thing where she could like throw them out as like a whip or something as well probably something that they would give her but that's that's how i would see it working we need something a little different for the ninja ninja characters by the way too so that that's actually a good difference i, I am famously known for not liking ninja characters in fighting games because they're <laughs> so always <laughs> rushed down always rushed down always mobility always mix up and always loud <laughs> that's the other thing loud <laughs> that's the thing i don't like too so uh, something different appreciate it. i think she would be much more different than the ninja characters that you're accustomed to and that you typically uh, gravitate away from yes and some people say it's just arc system works but that's not true because there's like el fuerte for example who technically sneaks in there like uh there's there's like uh what's his name guy in street fighter I also don't like so it's like you know i don't know next up we have <laughs> excuse me phaeton he I would be shocked if this dude had a projectile. That's my first. <laughs> that's my sure. first. That's my first thought from seeing this this picture, is I would be truly shocked if he had a projectile. Uh, so because of this, there's a couple things you could do. Uh, again, you're gonna hear a lot of mid dispenser, but fighting game devs really like that mm -hmm. because they think it's fair. So they, like that's why I keep being like, could be a mid dispenser because. It's a nice, safe archetype compared to some like the last one, Zoner, especially one that sets traps. That's spooky. That's spooky for a fighting game. That could be really, really bad or really, really broken. You don't know. That could be like Evo winning or like flushed. You know what I mean? Right. Mrs. Spencer, pretty safe. Uh, for Phaeton, I have written down that uh, he'd probably be, again, more mobility. Uh, he's, again, speedster, really quick, dodging, mm -hmm. parrying all over the place, hard to catch, um, and mix up. He's a sword user very fast he also has this thing where like he equips like a suit of armor so he has this armor that he equips but he also has uh this move which is basically a uh, beerus sphere destruction you know beerus is level one mm -hmm. that's essentially what this is which is, he's essentially throwing the sun at you so it's, it's kind of weird because like this is so different from like what he normally does before he uses it like the whole time it's like him running around like using the sword i'm super quick and slash slash strike strike try to catch me if you can and then 
I put on this armor and threw the sun at you. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's the super. I mean, yeah, he, he has like the, the iron knuckle from Zelda vibe. I don't know if I'm hating, but <laughs> when he puts on the armor, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, stuff like that, especially like one off really uh dramatic or cinematic moves, I mean, like, that could just literally be a super. Yeah, probably it depends on what they want, it depends on what they want to do, you know. Again, they can go the mode change route. If, if they want, they could just have it not be there except for, like, like you know how like uh, in DBFZ, Goku only goes Super Saiyan 3 for the Super. So right, yeah, I that, that that, could see this being just like yeah. that. All right, next up, we have another member of the Phantom Troop, which is basically like the Hunter Hunter Akatsuki. And here we have Shizuku. I would play this character. Mm, maybe, it's just based off the aesthetic. Yeah. I, I also would want to play her, but I just don't think she, her, her style would fit me. But go ahead and give me an idea now, of what you think. Now, she's kind of weird because of the weapon. Mm -hmm. The weapon looks memes. It's a vacuum cleaner to give you context. It's a vacuum, it is a vacuum cleaner that doesn't look... It looks like a couple of other things also. Well, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know. If you know, you know. you know. Because of that, basically, like, I try to give devs credit. So the, the famous one is Noelle Vermillion, right? Noelle mm. Vermillion is the gun character that doesn't use the, she hits you with her gun. She doesn't shoot you. So when you see a character with a weapon, swords, swords, they usually don't meme, by the way. Sword, sword guys slashes. That's why you pick, picked up, right? Mm. This thing could be a bunch of stuff. So for example, she could be a grappler to me because I mm. feel like it's a, it's a vacuum slash. It looks like a mouth to me also with like a tongue hanging out low key. Mm -hmm. So there's that route that there's that route right there's also the unique route of like she just has a weird ass weapon she just shows she just does weird stuff uh and then there's also zoning also because of this she she doesn't look like she she would be like easily dropped into mid dispenser or like what mix mix up again is like but like block strings that have mix-ups built into them like she doesn't look like she would be any of those type of characters at a glance gotcha so mm -hmm. I had her written down as mid dispenser with a command grab. <laughs> oh, uh, that's kind of that's a grappler. Yeah, I, I guess. I guess. Um, mid dispenser with command grab is a grappler. No? I wasn't thinking like her whole thing is command grabs. Like she just might have she just might have one. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. as opposed to having uh, my whole thing is I'm trying to get these grabs off. But I guess it depends on how they do it. So basically, uh, she fights using this vacuum cleaner, and this vacuum cleaner that she has can inhale or, like absorb anything that's non living and or wasn't created through Nen. So at first I was thinking like, oh, like if other characters like doing projectiles, she could like absorb the projectile, but like her, it, it doesn't actually work that way because these these projectiles are created by Nen. So she can't actually absorb those. Um, oh. So yeah, so I was like, ah, I don't know, but like she can, she can do other things like the handle, I guess if you want to call it that she's using for the vacuum cleaner. She literally mm -hmm. just uses that like a club. Like she just attacks with that and beats you over, beats you with like a baseball bat, something like just mids, mids, mids. Um, I was thinking like, cause she can suck the blood of her enemies and stuff too with that. So I was like, what if she had like a command grab where she sucks the, the opponent's blood and like they lose health or like she regenerates she health or like, yeah, yeah, like she, she heals or like, it's, let's say if they have a power system where it's like you build up this Nen or this, this energy or whatever, she can like steal their energy. I was just kind of, what I was thinking, so it's like Miz dispenser, but I have this command grab and it's really annoying. And every time you get hit by it, like you're losing resource or I'm gaining resource kind of what i was thinking and that that exists in some games i mean there's um there's blood sucking universe right mm -hmm. also some some of these moves like so i i know i said the name so that's like it's it's funny because i just talk shit about slayer but there's slayer and nagoto yuki both have the move where it's a command grab they're vampires they bite you they both heal and they get a power up from it so mm -hmm. that's also there's also an angle of like oh you get it's like some small bonus from hitting this um it's, it's something that's been done before for sure yeah that's just kind of the, the idea of but she's not a character that i would probably end up playing i would want to because I, I like her character but i just don't know if like how she would actually play in the game would be something that i would gravitate toward but that is shizuku um we actually got pretty lucky because ain't no telling what could have popped up when i googled her name <laughs> She's you one, got an editor. She, you she, got an editor. It's fine. Yeah, I said she's one of those characters. So like a, a, a lot of things were liable to show up. Next up, we have uh, Illumi Zoldik, who is, as you might imagine, a relative of uh, a character that we, we spoke about earlier. But this is Illumi. Honestly, looking like a point blank style character. And this actually screams Mr. Spencer to me. Point blank. Doesn't have to be fast though. I don't get fast vibes. Mm -hmm. I I kind of get like uh, you know, like like kung fu character vibes, like jam and stuff, mm -hmm. and like just really in your face style character. Like like there are other Mrs. Spencers where like oh this character does bits, but like specifically like, this character in your face probably 
depending on how fair they make the game slightly plus over and over you gotta make it you gotta guess when they're gonna choose to try to not be plus and do something else mm -hmm. like that's that's kind of the vibe i would say it's actually the exact opposite down to lumia is like unique composite um so there are two things you need to know about Illumi. They can transform mm -hmm. to other people, like basically change their parents to look like someone else. And okay. also they use like mind control and puppets. So I, this is a, to me, I, Illumi would have to be a puppet character. Yeah. Wow. Two, two, two options they can go with actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. I, like his, his like major abilities is like using like this puppeteering. One of the things that he does, like uses these needles to like basically hit someone in the head with the needle and then like gains complete control over them um mm -hmm. and just controlling like people as puppets so that that's kind of his his whole thing so that's kind of how i would see his character going the only thing about the puppet thing is that it would be pretty i don't know about marvel mm -hmm. but the closest thing we had to a puppet character in dvfc was baby i think where he just takes your dead characters move he could do something he could do something very similar because he could be one of those characters that's like very generic actually not, not mm, okay giving us more thought now he could be a character that's very generic mid suspenser i don't really have anything super special mm -hmm. unless two of your opponent's characters are downed and now he's got some dirt where it's like oh now i can steal these i have enhanced versions of like your character specials or something right now with this character or something you know what i'm saying i could see that being a thing yeah, I, I, I'm actually kind of, I'm actually kind of curious. I want to know, like, let's say comments, because I'm pretty sure there's no nothing like that in Marvel at all, really. And in DBZ, DBFZ, it's just it's just baby. Like, if it was like a one v one fighter, mm -hmm. then it would be very easy to be like make him a puppet character or like stuff like that. But the dynamic of a team game makes it really different. And I don't think that's been. I'm not saying they couldn't just do that anyway. <laughs> you know, they could just like again. The devs who are making this game do a lot of unique things for lack of a better word so they could just do it you know right. they don't have to go based on any like precedence or anything but just generally in these type of games we just haven't seen that uh next character mm -hmm. that i have written here is a lot of people's favorites he's one of my favorites as well because he's 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 honestly just that great but uh Medowim. he reminds me of frog from corona trigger <laughs> i don't know why it's the first thing i thought of when i saw him He's, he's got a, just like a weird looking dude who's like dope though. Cause you know me too. I really don't like weird, unique, you know, like, uh, like I was playing Tekken today. I played Yoshimitsu for the first time today. Right. And I was like, yeah, fuck this guy. I just on site, as soon as I saw him on, on like the loading screen, I was like, nah, but mm -hmm. like, this is clearly not a normal character by all means. I was like, yo, this guy's kind of dope. Any play ideas style of play wise. style or any, any, any thoughts, impressions? <sighs> okay. So beyond thinking he's kind of cool mm. he'd probably be one of the coolest characters to me i think he's one of the coolest characters in the series this one i want to say is pretty so the, the lazy way i would go is just say he's unique because every, every weird character i saw i was like okay i don't even know what to say about this is unique you're like yeah they're really unique mm -hmm. uh but also only because i feel like i haven't been saying this a lot they need to have a shotgun i i if i could say anything on site is this character has a shotgun i think yeah i uh yeah. <laughs> so the thing about metawom is that no. he is for one he's like the big bad final boss antagonist like strongest villain up to that point character mm -hmm. right and he's <laughs> insanely broken so I wrote down a lot of things. I wrote down mid dispenser, shotgun, grappler, mobility, install, wow. question mark. Like he's got like superhuman speed, intellect, reflexes, strength. Like he, he kind of does anything and everything he wants. Like my notes were, I think he'd be a character that could be shotgun, but not at first. And my, he has this ability called aura synthesis where he gets stronger by consuming others. Right. So I was okay. thinking like command grab where every time he gets it, he gets a stack up to however many stacks and every with each stack his damage increases that's kind of mm -hmm. the idea i had with this character um because of that ability he also like he absorbed like his a couple other characters that we'll talk about later um and he had this ability to like grow wings and he's flying around so mobility and he's super fucking fast and it's just like they could they could do basically anything with this character he's like they can make him a grappler with like that one grab they can make him mid dispenser but like he does a shit ton of damage they can make him mobility with the wings that could be an install that could be a super he can also shoot fire blast like like they could do whatever they want with him and it'll mm -hmm, probably mm -hmm. work um mm -hmm. yeah like he he, he does it all <laughs> yeah this is one of those like i feel like this character from what you said would be 
one of those that could actually show what type of game the game's gonna be. Cause like at the beginning we're like pro tag guy, punch hard, okay. But like when a character does like many, many things like that, like in source material, like they gotta pick what the character does. Cause if the character does everything, that's a broken character. <laughs> Uh, but that's you the thing I mean? too is like if, if, thing. if anyone's gonna be broken in the game it's it's supposed to be him <laughs> this is that character was like yo what is your weakness and he don't really got one bare bare minimum you're like, okay the character does one thing maybe they will do like a couple things especially if they're like kind of unique mm -hmm. so this one it just like based on your description it would be i chances obviously would be really high but it's like what what would they do because for example like so and then what's he do he's just a mid dispenser that has a mix up actually even though he does all that all that in the show so next we have pito pito mm -hmm. uh oh this looks like a meme character to me nefer pito okay this looks like a meme character cat characters are usually mobility characters mm -hmm. um usually mobility and uh and uh offensive mix up style characters mm -hmm. uh those would be that would be my initial first glance just based on appearance so mobility for sure i mean she mm -hmm. she he their gender is actually up in the air it's like intentionally ambiguous that kind of thing pito is pito is the is mm -hmm. the meme and yeah i should just treat pito like they're non-binary i'm gonna just say they them they have like superhuman speed and strength but also conjures like this giant doll that can like treat injuries and like heal people uh similar to like what bisky does maybe even more so and then also have a puppet like this marionette thing that they get attached to that it enhances their abilities even more and makes them stronger and faster so mm -hmm. i don't really know how you would because like they could just do like regular hand-to-hand -hand combat and then like the puppet stuff could be like a special move or a super or whatever but uh yeah i, I don't really know how you implement this character outside of it. but i wrote down mobility puppet question mark and that was really the extent of it superhuman strength and speed so now that there's like another character like that support like so i mean again for dbfz there's really just one really technically two support characters right there's just mm -hmm. krillin and base because base goku had um the thing that builds you beater but that doesn't mean they can't uh build something useful into the system of this game you know and like uh i want to say one of the last like super successful marvel teams was based off a, su a support assist too like something that builds meter passively or something if mm -hmm. i remember correctly so it, it, it's it's it is an option if the character is like does support in the show that they could do something that supports that is useful like that's the important thing that's useful especially if there's more than one because now this is the second one right yeah next on the list uh let me scroll down here in my notes uh we have shia poof or poof for short shia oh okay my bad i was thinking someone else you think shia, shia LaBeouf? <laughs> yeah my bad I'm, su I'm sure that must be like the what everyone thinks mm -hmm. yeah this character looks like a one piece character in this screenshot specifically i could see just it. this one just that one okay yeah there you go now, now we're back to more <laughs> yeah now we're back anime, yeah. <laughs> yeah now we're back okay wings so again mobility it's gonna be a big one and since it's not edgy several style wings and it's like colorful wings i you know and now that that is on the table another support character would not be so bad if, if he does that actually that plus like zoning that was zoning so i wrote down poof as like mobility obviously because of the wings and like composite uh support is wow interesting yeah um the ability to like give other people like nen abilities like they shy poof like puts people in like this cocoon and then they when they emerge they have new powers and stuff um mm -hmm. and then also this this move called spiritual message which how do i explain spiritual message actually does he give you the sauce is that is that what it does in the sense that like they can like read emotions and feelings and stuff like oh like the the exact thing written down here right that i have is uh allows poof to analyze the blend of 30 emotional patterns and through them formulate conjectures about the opponent's uh psychological state personality and thoughts uh which is i took directly from like the the hunter hunter like wiki and i just copy and pasted that here into my notes i don't really know how you implement that into gameplay because like support does sound like it makes sense they also have like this ability called beelzebub where like he can create a bunch of tiny little hymns <laughs> to like swarm people um here this is much oh, much much oh easier my God. yeah uh, this I, it's a new neck arc it, theme bro what is this bro yeah yeah <laughs> yeah oh, no uh, no uh, like I, this i could see much more easily implemented i don't know how they would do the whole spiritual message thing though spiritual message what is it and analyze the emotional patterns of somebody and make conjectures about it 
it also has like this hypnosis effect to it but i don't i don't really know i don't really know what you do with that i think i think on the hypnosis side let's say they make that a a, a super so their their example these are demon moves by the way what i'm about to what i'm about to um propose but mm -hmm. uh there are moves that exist in fighting games that seal actions from the opponent so like the most extreme mm. being you can't use buttons you can't block or also there's others like uh switching uh like for example if, if it's supposed to be he reads your emotions and makes conjectures about you then it like applies something on you right so if, uh, an easy one would be like oh when you crouch block actually you're gonna stand block and we stand block actually you're gonna crouch block it just like changes something about you because he's reading something about you mm -hmm. right they, this is not a common type of movement fighting games it's, it's usually demonic by the way but also it's a team game so the demon inside me says that my expectations are super low and i expect it to be super broken right <laughs> so so i'm assuming the worst firstly i'm assuming the worst so that's that's the type of thing i would think of when you uh that tell me that's a, a description of something he can do it makes make sense to me yeah I, I i could see that being being how they implement something like that uh he can also like heal himself like he can like split himself down like a cellular level and like heal himself and like kind of transform and stuff too uh yeah he's like one of the henchmen of Merum, the guy we saw earlier so he's like the mm -hmm. Like him, uh, the next character we're gonna talk about, and then Pito, the the cat from earlier, are like the three like guardians or you know henchmen, like the three strongest henchmen, I guess you could say, of of like that final boss character. So they all have some pretty cracked abilities. That being said, the next character on the list is Up, who has a much longer name that I'm not gonna pronounce because uh, here, if you can see it. Uh, oh, this guy's a grappler. Uh, I said grappler, shotgun. Um, yeah, for sure. His, his whole thing for is sure. his whole thing is like I'm gonna hit you really hard. Uh, yeah. uh, he can Grappler, like, yeah, as you can, shotgun, he can like transform and like he can sprout extra arms and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm thinking that's what I was thinking like armor damage. Like, I yeah, I got oh, wait, 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 he has extra arms. Auto guard would be even even more annoying than armor, actually. Auto oh, guard with the arms sounds really annoying, <laughs> really annoying. Yeah, <laughs> he looks annoying. Look, he's frowning, bro. This guy doesn't smile. Yeah, I have zero doubt no, that he's, he would not be fun to fight. Like, whatever he hits, no, it's, it's gonna be something like real simple but real strong. Like, it's just mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's not a whole lot to his character. I mean, he also has like this uh, it's, it's, it's hold on, let me can I just show you the this thing here, but. Uh, he super turns it like sight. this yeah this this centaur thing i'm just gonna assume that they would turn this into a super yeah um, yeah for anime games like okay I, I, it's lazy i'm saying for anime games based off actual anime mm. there you go <laughs> like stuff like this i feel like are always supers like always 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 supers it, it's really rare that like it's their own character i don't know about arena fight like i feel like an arena fighter especially like in the old i'm saying the old days like ps2 and stuff mm -hmm. like this could be its own character but uh, for like a 2D fighter, it's like usually no. Yeah, he also has like this one move I have written down, it's called like the Rage Blast, where basically mm -hmm. like Rage he, builds up and then he eventually like lets off like this major explosion, which- Disconnects yeah. you from the server. Maybe, uh, maybe, <laughs> right? Because the amount of damage is probably gonna do, maybe he was gonna rage quit. But <laughs> like he, he experiences extreme euphoria and then depression uh, right after. It's so, like, I, <laughs> like, mm. like it's just this despair after the fact, so just like real life bro and then next we have uh moral or morel uh yeah this, is that a saxophone or a pipe it's a pipe oh it's a pipe yeah it's a big pipe oh no okay oh my god it's another cool old guy character but he's wearing a suit fuck okay uh he hits you with that pipe though i think he's like mid-range he does he does Try, use the yeah. pipe he does swing it around like it's a battle axe yeah. or something since it's a pipe specifically this is actually really uncommon in fighting games i want to say mm -hmm. maybe someone has got to be like you got to play more to literally just more stuff instead of focusing on one all the time being really sweaty but like not a lot of people who have projectiles have like mid-range projectiles right so like most people are familiar with like full screen stuff between like beams hadouken like stun edge like stuff like that if you make it so a projectile doesn't hit from far actually this by the way is where I, I think they screwed up with majin buu in dbfz because he has one of these he has like a mid-range projectile uh two three success like the poof the pink cloud that he shoots mm -hmm. you know yeah so usually when they give characters that move that type of move because it doesn't go full screen they do something to it to like make it worth using so that's something they could also give him too if he if he uses smoke to fight so not to mention mix by the way fight. not to mention mix so i'm glad you said mix because my comp for this character was i i wrote down 
mid-range slash knockdown mm-hmm. and in parentheses i wrote napa um is actually <sighs> what i get from him because he like uses like these he summons like these little nen beasts from smoke to like attack or whatever and when, when, when i sat here and thought about it i was like these he could just zone. these could these could be yeah he could zone but i was like or he could be like cybermen so is this like different directions they could do depending on how they want to do mm-hmm. but i kind of got like napa vibes but like i can also hit you from mid-range so, like my i actually have decent neutral uh which like giving a character like that good neutral i'm not sure if that's the best idea or the best direction to go i mean <laughs> there's another thing he could do you know who else yeah i mean he could have ghosts yeah, so by yeah my, it, like my it, good it, buddy it could, yeah, it could, it could be sick, ghost super ghost kamikaze attack let me negative edge this hold this hold this mix yeah that that's just, that's another option i feel ideas. like that's such a weird like archetype or like style to give a character that looks like this but it makes sense let me get it let me get it why not yeah oh uh, yeah no he looks sick actually like like high key he looks sick uh next we have kite kite this wow is kite. this this dude looks like he's in team rocket but like in a different place so there's a couple of vibes from looking at him mm-hmm. one again he's got a stick so again I, I for some but it's like i said like any character who has like stick sword that type of thing it's like ah they can play mid-range they could do mids uh but just from how extra skinny he looks because this has been a lot of like honestly character designs have been all over the place but there hasn't been anyone who's been especially uh what's the word i want to use life is that a word is that the word i want like just like really skinny just really springy just looking. really thin frame lanky yeah lanky you know? i could see him having a unique mobility style of rather than just being fast by the way what i'm gonna say is annoying so rather than just being fast they have moves that like move him that goes through stuff if you use the right move in accordance to what the opponent is using a lazy way of putting it would be like old anji like xx anji but not auto guard really just something where like this is the most annoying version of this but this is a team game so i don't you know i'm not pulling my punches on these type of things mm-hmm. is like you move through something and uh you know like i'm getting a little technical but like let's say you block something in a game and you press like button button like jab, jab like ll and dragon ball you, actually that's a bad example let's say you do like lm and dragon ball right mm-hmm. so if you connect to something lm comes out if you don't connect only l comes out right so it's like if he moves the right way through your thing you press button button the other button just doesn't i didn't out. consider that at all that's not a bad idea but basically yeah. what he does in the show is that I would I so I wrote down unique for him and it's because mm-hmm. I would call him a weapons specialist. The way his ability works is that he has this thing that he conjures where basically his ability is there's a roulette on it, right? And it's like one through nine. And then whatever number he ends up rolling, a different weapon comes out. And he it's it's always random. He has no control over it. He never knows what's gonna happen next. But he has all these different weapons that can appear. And because he never knows what's what's coming out, he has no control over it. It makes each individual weapon that much stronger. No, shut up, bro. I don't want to hear that. He's fucking, he's fucking an item throw character. He's like Game & Watch, bro. Kind of, sort of, yeah. Bro, I, he's Game & Watch. But like, what are you talking like about? That's so, so, uh, my, my problem is that I think Kite is a really cool character, but I couldn't think of a better comp than that. And I didn't want to say that because that's so lame. But Kite is so cool. But yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, dude, it's, it's, no. it's, 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 I'm going to spin this and then whatever happens, happens. And this option is annoying. And this option is annoying, but for different reasons. This option is annoying. And then, and then he's going to have the super where he just pick one. Yeah. that's what they always so like he, he has like he has, he has a scythe he has a mace he has a carbine um so he's supposed to have one through nine i don't think we actually saw all nine so he might only actually have a few but that is like oh. that that is his ability i don't know if they're gonna make some stuff up or if he's just gonna yeah. have a few that we saw or what but yeah that, that's that's what yeah. he does i came at this dude. i called him like eight different things <laughs> i called him game watch See, i think I, he looked like he's on team rocket Faust too, and i was like no bro kite is so much cooler than faust please there's got to be better cop but Oh unfortunately God. i don't think there is better comp all right this next character is kaluto and i some of these characters and that's why i added a few extra but like when we started getting to this point i was like i was kind of like maybe reaching and digging a little bit it's like what characters would they would they want to add to this roster and this is one that could go either way um mm-hmm. yeah this is this is kaluto so just from the couple of pictures you showed me since she's not obviously using a weapon emphasis on, emphasis on obviously he i would also think an infighter just all, there's always two ways you can go of this by the way mm-hmm. when when someone's not obviously holding a weapon infighter or zoner like the, the two extremes right yeah because they could be like oh i got all these things under my coat or whatever or they'd be like yeah you know i'm i'm, I'm a pull up she doesn't really give any like specific vibe 
Like, ah, uh, there's a fan. She's his owner. Kal Kalito is a guy, but oh, okay. he He's um is like super quick, Scalic. like speed's part of their thing, and they're they're like a surveillance kind of character as well. But they also, mm -hmm. you know, you you said you watch Bleach, so you know Byakuya with the uh, Senbon Sakura Kakuyos with the rose petals and everything, or the cherry blossom petals mm -hmm. and the. Same mm -hmm. same thing, but paper, like, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, and that'd probably be a big part of their kit, where they're just throwing paper shreds at you. <laughs> that mm -hmm. was my thing. This is a character mm -hmm. I like, wasn't super confident, but like when I was when I made my original list, like I wrote them down. But then when I look back to see like what they really did, I was like, I don't know, would they? Would he actually make it? But there's other characters on this list that I probably have a, a better chance. But I, I kept him in there anyway. For sure. Again, like from here, like with him, the archetype would be the most important thing, mm -hmm. right? So it's like at this point, it's like a tank technically like a bunch of mid dispensers actually like since it's a team game and 3v3 actually saying that a character is like a mobility character or like let's say there's like a ton of characters we have like oh they're mobility they got like mobility as a thing right. it's not a bad thing actually right. as opposed to because i mean it's just movement and how like you apply movement different ways that you can move around the screen mm -hmm. as opposed to like let's say I have 25 ish characters there were like 16 mid dispensers then you're like right. you know what i mean like if this character was like like a zoner because we haven't called a lot of characters zoners for example and that's another thing too as i was trying to get like mm -hmm. uh, a variety in these archetypes so mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. very valid actually very valid and side note if you are wondering why we're assuming 24 25 is specifically because it's a 3v3 game if it was a 1v1 game this is a 12 character roster and we out frankly yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, <we out. laughs> yeah but this is a 3v3 there has to be a lot of combinations of things you can do so the assumption is that the roster is higher if you're sitting here typing 24 characters not a lot i'm going to ask you to please close this video because it's really hard to make a fighting game clearly it's very hard to make a fighting game it's really hard to make a large uh roster based off a of new ip and they've never made a hunter hunter 3v3 2d fighting game before i said it right again your boy's good some solid, small side notes all right next on this list we have a character by the name of chitu chitu i said all that stuff about not having a lot of mid dispensers <laughs> you, you, you should put a mid dispenser on the screen oh, that's that's my you my immediate first thought does this this the seeing this this attachment on their arm change it change is that a bow arm. yeah it's a crossbow oh oh we can have another zoner let's go i don't know if i'd call chitu a zoner like he could be but that's not where my mind would originally go because with chitu he's, he's a cheetah right I, he's super fast speed catch me if you can like m mobility obviously huge part of this character um mm -hmm. chitu's also an idiot and i don't understand why his abilities are what they are but regardless um it's so not on top of being very very fast he also has like the OG domain expansion where basically he like makes contact with his opponent, right? And then brings him to like this prairie or field or whatever it is, right? And now we gotta play tag. You gotta catch me. Only way you get out of here is if you is, is if you can catch me. And it's like, sure, but then he also has like this crossbow and these claws, which he's faster, like just regular attacking than he is with that. And like I said, he don't he, he didn't think his abilities through very far, I don't think. I could see him being a zoner. Right, because he has the crossbows, like he could use it, but I, I, I think, I think mobility, I think rush down. Like he's probably not going to be very powerful, like in terms of just like damage, but he gonna get them hits in, and he's like hard to catch in neutral, and he gets in easily just because of how quick he is or whatever movement options he has. He probably would have like a command dash of some sort or something that's mm -hmm. like a pseudo teleport where it's not really a teleport, but he's just running very fast, something he's like just that. Really fast, yeah, yeah. He just moves really fast. Yeah. Or something we haven't mentioned is like he can have dash cancels. That too, you know, that too. stuff yeah. that 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 kind of ties into like offensive, like block string style mix-ups. Uh, depending on how broken they want the game to be, he could he could have that tag thing, bro. They made they made the fate fighting game. I, I know I, I, I'm saying that as if like people are supposed to know what that means, but there's, there's a lot of silly stuff in that game. Uh, and then they were reasonably accurate to the source material, mm -hmm. so you know they could they could be in the game. Next up, we have Genturu. He's wearing a hoodie, uh, or is he wearing an ascot? Uh, here you go. It's more. It's oh yeah. Oh, it's priest guy. Okay, yeah. I was about. I was about to say. I was like, dude, who is this guy? Okay, priest guy. Okay. Now, now that we have a better idea, priest guy, bond priest guy can be a lot of things. A lot of things can. Ah, it's tough because I feel like I gotta, I gotta go with what I know precedent wise. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, and then he doesn't look like Billy from Xenogears. So, uh, Priest Guy, in my experience, 
in a fighting game is actually an all-rounder because we actually haven't had someone who actually could do a little bit of everything mm-hmm. uh and if the game is fair but they just there's i at that some people don't like jack, jack of all trades but like a little bit of mids you know a little bit of a nice easy not super good mix a little bit of zoning you know like oh i'm over here i'm using my average projectile and now i'm over here i'm doing some bits like just can just like a nice balance choice mm-hmm. i don't think we actually had somebody that's like a nice balance choice too we just kind of been like and when i say balance i mean not saying that like just being like a like a pro tag or mrs Spencer isn't like balanced and fair just like there's some characters in fighting games that just do a little bit of everything but like enough they're not super great at everything or they're maybe like one good at like one thing over the other an easy example is like kai or something you right. know he he does everything i that's think you, all, that's all i got for him yeah no i think you're kind of on the money i didn't really think about all rounder at first but it actually makes sense so again through is like the like the main antagonist of like one of the arcs in the series i so i, I wrote him down as uh hold on, let me scroll down here uh neutral strong chin uh very strong chin i wrote him down as neutral control mid-range uh not necessarily zoner but has projectiles and that's kind of where the neutral control comes in um, so like, yeah, he, he, he can do a little bit of everything. He's got the hand to hand combat. He's obviously, he's not like a slow character, but he's not, not like one of the fastest. He's got enhanced strength and things like that. Uh, so like mids dispenser, neutral control. I have a projectile, but it's not broken. Like I, I can create, he creates explosions and stuff. That's like his thing, right? So, mm-hmm. uh, he can create bombs and like fire off these little explosions and stuff. If he touches you, you can literally blow your arms off. So I could see like he has like maybe some sort of mix up where he places like one of his bombs and like it explodes and he gets a mix up, but it's not like a particularly great mix up. Is yeah, yeah I, I could see him being all rounder. Yeah, but kind of wants to play a little bit in the mid range, but can do a little bit of everything when he gets in close. Like he can hold his own. Mm-hmm. I actually like that idea it, for this character. <laughs> and, and and that's valuable too in its own thing. Like some, sometimes people be flaming characters that are like, oh, it's a jack of all trades character. So people are like, I'm tired of you saying that. But it's like, dude, like that's not a it's not a bad thing to so like saying also to all rounder because we didn't even like I did be, base these archetypes off like DBFC, but like let's mm-hmm. say for example there's a character who's like all he does is parry for example like a defense character all rounder this dude can have a good defensive option too like like, like a dp too the dp is very bad apparently dps are so broken that we have to take away dragon punch into 50 meter into making using resource to make them safe so it's valuable to have like uh every tool you know what i mean just like at least a type another thing with his character too is that he has to make contact for some of his abilities and stuff so like you can have a command grab like that could also make sense where he just grabs you and creates an explosion or whatever that he really could have just like a, a tiny little bit of everything all right uh next we have uh uvo Gein. uvo Gein. oh this guy reminds me of wolverine i'm definitely thinking mobility rush down dive kick like like we haven't even talked about dive kicks and stuff mm-hmm. like man Vance has that 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 uh and just because just because of muscle i'd also put shotgun also because i don't think i said a lot of characters are shotguns right so I wrote down a uh, shotgun. That was actually the only one I gave him. Maybe grappler, but <laughs> uh, r- rush down mobility. Not what I would think about with Uvogin. He's actually big, wow. hulking, like super muscular. Like I'm just gonna hit you really, really hard. Uh, that's kind of his whole thing. Like he's uh, an enhancer. Um, like so, there's I, I didn't really explain this that that much in detail because like the people who are watching this for the most part, they're 100 fans. They know, but there are different Nen types. So there's like enhancers, transmitters, manipulators. Um, and then there's a specialist and everything like he's an enhancer and enhancers is basically oh. just like, yeah. So enhancers are just, I'm powering myself up and making myself stronger basically. Um, so, so there's, there's archetypes in Hunter Hunter just straight up. Yeah. But like, they even, could classify characters like that. They could, they, they very well yeah. could, which could be a, a, its own video in itself. Um, mm-hmm. that's why I was saying earlier, cause like with the Nen system, like it's so much, it's really interesting to think about how they're going to develop this game and like you know design it around that system is like will those be the archetypes or are they gonna go with traditional ones but then these like i i don't really know but yeah like his his big it move is is it's like a a really really big powerful punch he like puts all his aura like all his energy into like his fist and i'm gonna punch you really really hard that's like his signature tech and for people watching too who don't play like these type of games too so let's say let's say he can't hit you when we say he can't hit you it's like oh he doesn't have a way to like open you up so the difference between like blocking and getting hit is like a big deal that's why that's why people hate grapplers right because mm-hmm. there's like man you gotta do something it's not like he has to hit you it's a team game so 
another character could hit you right and, and then, then he comes he in and in. then he punches real hard another yeah. thing too is like so. depending on whether or not chip damage is a thing this is one of those characters i can see doing a lot of chip damage even if you're oh my god don't remind me which please. which makes you want to push buttons and then you get hit mm -hmm. and explode it's like i can't just sit here and block because then i eat all this chip and the instant mm -hmm. you do something you get counter hit and your health bar just, just disintegrates so yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of ways they can do this, like like in an interesting way, quote unquote. I don't like characters that win by chipping you, so personally, on principle. Now, this next character is somebody who I feel like has a good chance of being in the game, and I think people want us to talk about. But I'm not okay. going to lie to you, bro. To this day, I I can't fully explain his ability. Well, first of all, what, what, what does he look like to you? This is Knuckle. Is Knuckle? Mm -hmm. No, without, knuckle. The, without the S, just okay, Knuckle. Okay, without the S. Knuckle, <laughs> knuckle without the S. He looks like uh, what is it, Kuabata? He, he has similar hairstyle, yeah. with pompadour. Yeah, he's got, the, he's got the hair. He's yeah. got the pomp. That's the that's the first thing I I think of. See, I mean, by default, mm -hmm. though. So there's two ways they could do this. They could do it the the obvious way or the not obvious way. So since since uh you know this is like the like delinquent type, mm -hmm. you know. He could be he could be like an annoying mix-up character like a mean mix-up character so what i mean is like i mean obviously the archetype would be like rush down mix-up but like there's a there's a type where there's one type where like the character has one thing that's really easy to see but it's safe and another thing that's really hard to see that is made to hit you but if you block it you can hit them back right mm -hmm. that's one type another type is the character does stuff that animates in a really obnoxious way and then they do stuff out of that so that's one way they can do him another way they could they could do this character which is of course for me just look at him is like sometimes they do like uh like they try to make a gap between what the character looks like and what they do so because you see this guy and you're like oh he's gonna just punch you and like maybe rush you down and and like be mean and yell at you and stuff he's like a zoner randomly or like a trap character randomly or something knuckle i also, his name's Knuckle, so I'm trolling my bed. Yeah, he's not sorry. He, he, he Knuckle, does have bro. a mission abilities, but like it's what type of Nen does he use? So that's the go. thing. Like, I do not know how to explain this character's ability. He has the most convoluted, like complicated ability, I think, in the show. Like the actual meme Knuckle. is the, the, the meme is that when he, when his ability is getting explained, like steam starts to come out of Gon's ears. OK. <laughs> I, like the only way, the only way I know how to do is I'm gonna read you the excerpt from the from the the, the wiki on what his ability is. Okay. Now now strap in. Blue, by the way. Okay. So yeah. So his main ability is called Hakoware, which Hakoware involves Knuckle conjuring an indestructible Nen Beast mascot called the Amortizing Power Redirector or APR uh, onto the opponent after being dealt a blow from Knuckle, emitting his aura into his opponent. APR constantly lends Knuckle's aura to whomever it is attached to displayed by a rising counter on its forehead. When adding interest, APR announces it's time to add interest. As long as APR is attached, any attacks done to Knuckle by his opponent return aura to him, lowering the counter. Until all the aura lent by Knuckle is returned to him, he cannot be, be he cannot be physically damaged by his opponent. The reverse is also true. Each of Knuckle's blows only lends more aura to his opponent, causing no damage. The stronger the attack, the more aura is lent or returned. In both cases, the person suffering the blow can still be knocked back by it, despite suffering no damage. The interest rate on APR is 10% of the borrowed aura accrued every 10 seconds, while the victim is within 50 meters of knuckle. As the amount of borrowed aura, including interest, accumulates, APR also grows in size. When the aura borrowed from knuckle exceeds his opponent's total remaining aura, specifically POP, the opponent goes bankrupt. Thus, it is in knuckle's interest rate that his opponent spends slash waste as much aura as possible, as quickly as possible, uh, so long as said aura is not spent on knuckle himself. The result is that the opponent's aura balance falls that much quicker until it is below the amount they owe knuckle, at which point they can no longer possibly repay their debt and bankruptcy sets in. He's gonna be bullshit, dude. <laughs> this is bullshit. He's gonna be bullshit. Yeah, no, the, the ability is like bullshit. broken, but I don't know how to simplify that. Like I've he's I've, I've bullshit. read it and I've watched it, so like I understand like how it works, but I, I he's gonna be bullshit. There's a couple <laughs> ways. They can act, there's actually a couple ways they could do it. They could do uh, the easiest way, which is funny. The easiest way would be to just make it a resource thing where he just drains meter, but they could really meme 
he he could really be high this is like i would play i would at least try him mm -hmm. just based on disability if they are really accurate to the source material if they're just like yeah this <laughs> is just some accurate, shit. this shit sounds fucking busted this it sounds like but you couldn't see me but i was like i was like stroking my chin yeah, I was like, 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 like wait a minute <laughs> I, I was like oh this shit grows all right but uh, it, it's so me it's like shit my opponent can't understand unless they fucking go on a website mm -hmm. to figure out how the shit works and then it sounds really bullshit and then also he's not first of all oh, wait wait no step back this shit is a super this can't be his whole thing this oh, can't be his that, whole thing. That, that's his whole thing, though, in the, in the show. That, this can't be his whole thing. This his, can't be bro, his whole I have thing. the wiki pulled up now. That? that is the only move listed for him. He doesn't have punch, bro. I mean, he can punch. <laughs> he, yeah, he, 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 he can throw punches and kicks, but I'm just saying, like, that. that is his thing. Like, that's his ability. Like, it, it's just the Man, one. The the, the quote-unquote fair. Like, again, if this is Arxis making his game, this is just meter, and that's it. We move on. Or, like, you know, it's Nen Impact, so... The way they could go is Nen is literally meter, or mm -hmm. Nen is some separate resource, okay? And that would be pretty easy, and they would just move on. I don't know. It just sounds broken. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> fall into any category besides unique, yeah, frankly. Yeah, I, I, I wrote them down for unique. Unique, and it sounds really broken, and now I already think of two... I already I thought of three characters I want to play in this game. If they put these, if this is the roster, by the way, he's one that I think is pretty likely, especially depending on if the roster is going to be like we're like we're assuming like 24, 20s. 25 ish characters. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. but some of these are like locks, like especially in like that first 10, of course, at the 10, beginning. 10 to 15 or so, like those ones are like I'm guaranteeing will be in the game. Um, yeah. okay, he's broken. Yeah, <laughs> he's <laughs> but broken. not really that broken in the show, but like this ability mm -hmm. is a broken ass ability, like. Mm -hmm. Like, there's definitely like hunters who are like way stronger than him, but this shit is stupid. Next, we have Nobunaga Hazama. This guy's sword. Yeah. His name's Nobunaga Hazama. Yes. I don't like this guy, bro. Are y'all already hating? Yeah. Why is that? There's a lot. There's a lot of elements of hate <laughs> and trauma appearing off all rip? at once. Yeah, off rip. Just from the name, bro. His name is Nobunaga Hazama, dude. This mm -hmm. guy's made to kill me, bro. I might have to play him too, just cause I, cause I'm full of hate, bro. Uh, sword guy though, I mean there, there's hope. There's hope in my heart. Sword guy, but his name is Nobunaga Hazama, so he I, he he has some broken shit. I don't know, some broken edgy shit. I, I I know it doesn't sound very specific like some of these other characters, but I got fucked by the name, bro. Yeah, he's Sorry. he's actually not. Nah, so you you probably overthinking. He's actually pretty basic from as far as we know. He's just he's just a sword master. Just sword guy. Yeah, he's he's oh. actually just sword guy. He's really strong, the sword master. Like his his. Like Nen type is like enhancer, so he's just you know what I'm saying he's not doing anything super crazy. Um, he just has really powerful aura, it's sword slashes, strikes. That's pretty much the gist of his character. So I just wrote him down as like mobility rushdown, like uh, mids maybe. Like I, uh, he's not like a particularly Ooh. like yeah. <laughs> the voice artist voice said, "No, Naga has I'm Like no, uh. you're gonna be so edgy and stupid. Like oh yeah, he he uses like, like a rabbit hole. He's like yeah, you know where he's like ah, the sword's here. I do an attack, put the sword back type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So they have, they could have a unique angle on him too because uh that sword style like yaido is pretty is more common in fighting games than you think obviously most famous example is johnny and there's like multiple examples yeah, uh, victor of him. victor and tekken 8 he uses the yeah victor and tekken 8 also yeah there, there's this sword styles in so many fighting games so it's like mm. there's a lot of there's a lot of ways that could have this in a fighting game that's cool when i see so. him i think of uh who I th he also uses ei it's a uh, mifune from the naruto well from naruto but he's in the storm games uh, mm -hmm. I know you haven't played those with those that you have. That's kind of what I think of when I see Nobunaga is Mifune. Uh, next, we have Alaka Zoldi. Okay. Dude, these character names, dude. What what happened? Like, first, they were just, like, silly, like, goon, mm -hmm. gone. Now we got, like, you and Aluka. I was like, oh, is that a play on? And you're like, Aluka Zoldik. This is tough, actually, from looking at her. Uh, one, because the sun is out. So I thought this was gonna be like a vampire character because he said her name's Aluka. But yeah, it's not a vampire though. Oh, okay. There's some things. Okay, this gives me a little bit more info. So I'm gonna assume because the headband is visual, uh, and it has the four faces. Mm -hmm. There's a few things they could do. They could do stance. By the way, for for me, stance and mode change is different for the people watching. Some people are like, what's the difference between stance and mode change? Stance is usually you have a move, but it's like you're in you're stuck in that and you have that thing's moves and that's it where mode change is like you basically turn into another character or it's a stance that's so drastic that it might as well be another character so the difference would be uh if you play strive there's leo 
who has back turn stance, Bryn Hilder stance, and then he has his normal stance. If you play Tekken, everyone has stances all the time. Right. With many, many stances. It used to be as prominent as it is now, but in Tekken 8, everyone has a stance. I don't know why all of a sudden, mm -hmm. but yeah. Mm -hmm. Where the mode change example, the probably the two I could think off the top of my head would be the aforementioned Falconhine, who he old man turns into a werewolf, or uh, Igis, who's like a robot and she goes into Orgia mode and she can fly and do all this stuff. So um, she has that angle. If they go that angle, and I'm I'm reading this character correctly, that she would have like five modes. <laughs> so I think a, a stance would be probably a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Another angle they could go would just from looking at it would be uh unique also i don't know knowing the then type actually might help me a little bit too because if you're like yeah, actually she just punches you really hard I'm so like, here's oh, the thing she, she's an enhancer it just uh, punches hard so without saying too much this right here this is aluka mm -hmm. this is nanika uh i was about to say that's zoldik aluka well no zoldik is just their last name um yeah i'm, I'm memeing a little bit aluka has no special abilities, no powers. She has no Nen type. She has no noteworthy combat skills. She, for all intents and purposes, is a regular girl. But however, totally different. I can't really give you any hints. Like, is is this a matter of like, because <laughs> nothing you think is, is going to like be be what this is? But it's, it sounds unique enough. I mean, yeah. So the, I wrote down unique for this character, and that was yeah. it uh, as far as archetypes go. Because it's not there's something similar that came up earlier, but this is different in, in, in a sense me adding this person is also why i added a couple of extra characters on the end where i was like uh, maybe nanika doesn't really count but um we have uh i mean if you called it though if you call it though that's not, insane, hype. Right? <laughs> that's not that's not a hype franklin who uh <sighs> any, any thoughts franklin looks like a big looks like a big guy looks like a strong guy looks like an armor moves guy another one really Yes, Loki armor is my vibes. Um, there's another. Does he have like? Does he shoot stuff out of his? I was gonna say. So what if I told you this was a zoner? <laughs> oh my god! With armor. A zoner with armor? That sounds awful. <laughs> oh actually. no, that sounds awful. No, I don't like it. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's a, like he's an, uh, an emitter, so he he shoots projectiles. He has has finger mm. uh, uh, his fingertips are like shotguns or gunshots or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, extent of sounds it. like just his owner. Yeah, 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 just literally like he just pops off his fingertips and gunshots. Again, just from you saying it, I feel like of course this this is hyper very, very rare LK specula. I like never do this, but like mm -hmm. if there's if there's types of like abilities that people use, they they classify all the Nen users and stuff. Mm -hmm. One approach they could have to to it is by being like these are the enhancers. They put all the enhancer characters on like one little side of the screen. And, like these are the zoners, aka emitters, and they're all on like this side of the screen. And then these are like, what the fuck is this? And they put them all in their own little corner. That's a, a way they could do it, especially for people who may not have a. Uh, Cause also side note, they tend to use these as ads for the source material also. Mm -hmm. uh, so like, you know, I played Persona for example, right? A lot of people, I played Persona 4 before I played Persona 4 Arena. But many people played Persona 4, the original game, after playing Arena. And like when it was like the biggest game in arcades and all that stuff. So like some people are not gonna know any of these characters until they play this game. Some people might just pick it up just cause like me. Got you. Then we have one final character that I threw in on this list. Ooh. And that is Nov. <laughs> Nov, an another suit guy, huh? Yeah. There's actually more suit guys in Hunter Hunter than I realized before this. Yeah, there's a lot of suit guys. There's a lot of suit guys. There's one thing I'll, one prediction, team suit is going to be a thing. And hopefully it's not really good because um, a lot of people are going to use team suit. So Nov, 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 Nov. I have the feel that glasses guys are always zoners for some reason. Fair. I would say Nov is kind of more of a, he's, he's mobility for sure. He He's a teleport character. So that Ooh. that's this whole thing. He has teleportation abilities. So like he can like one of his abilities is called hide and seek. Uh, he's, he also is an emitter. So zoning wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility for him, I suppose. But like uh, he can like phase through walls and stuff like that. He can like go through the the ground and everything. Uh, he also has this ability called scream, where he opens up a portal like between his hands and he can like put it around an opponent and then like close it and then like you know. So they scream because it hurts. <laughs> well, he can keep them that know. way, or like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. so it's uh, it's 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 a bit different. Um, but he was just like a, just one more character I threw in on the end that I feel like I could potentially see in there just because of 
uh, his ability being like different from like most of what the other characters are doing, I feel like with the teleportations and like the scream, like mm -hmm. black hole thing he's kind of creating or whatever. So, yeah, black hole thing would be like a projectile, and then teleports for mobility, especially if it's a BS three v three game instead of like a reasonable three v three game. It it could be done. Like look look at all these characters. Uh, honestly, after going through all these. Mm -hmm. This really fits as a team game. It kind of makes me angry, <laughs> actually. And it might be random because I don't know what like the show's like. I don't know if they're they're fighting one one v one or if they squat up mm -hmm. like that. The re the reason why I feel like it works as a team game is because a lot of characters are mobile, and there's a lot of different type of characters and their support stuff. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of like mixing and matching you can do. And like one of the most important things in basically all team games, I, I won't say BB tags, I'm not like too sure, but like one of the key focuses in these games is movement because like usually stuff is so good, like the stuff the characters can do and the stuff they could do together is so good that like the, the main thing you're trying to do is like just literally not get touched. I mean, you're trying to slip out of the way and stuff. So having a lot of characters that move around quickly or move around in unique ways mm -hmm. is a good idea for this type of game. Yeah, no, like doing the, the research that I did and taking the notes that I did and thinking about the roster, I actually like kind of get more excited for the game. Because when I was thinking about it, I was like, man, some of this stuff would be really cool potential. and really fun. Like, I think this has potential to be like a really sick game. And there's no real telling what direction they're going to go with it. And obviously, a lot of the ideas that like we had or the thoughts that we had, um, it, it may not be anything like that at all, but yeah, yeah. But as, as I'm sitting here like envisioning how I think the game's gonna be, I'm like, yo, this game's gonna be sick. <laughs> yeah, it, it could be a sleeper, like low key. It could be. I mean, I mean, obviously, like the source material is not a sleeper, right? Like it's it's like well known, but we basically again are not really gonna have a look at what it's gonna be like until next month, mm -hmm. like the end of April, which I'm it's gonna be at Evo Japan. I'm very much looking forward to. I am sad that I won't be at Evo Japan to play it myself, but uh it's yeah i i i it's getting harder to not get my hopes up because like the more i think about it and talk about it and see is like all the signs are there for it to be a game that i'm gonna enjoy but like it could be bad but nothing so far leads me to believe that it will be other than the fact that like dnf duel flopped but i'm just gonna hope that that was not so much an aiding thing as it was other factors i think so too uh you know they've been c kind of quiet on the game but like hopefully i'll be able to try it next month i'm i'm, I'm really trying to go because mm -hmm. uh not only i mean this was a surprise i think they announced that it was going to be at evil japan literally like friday yeah oh, like, as like, of this recording yeah, right? so that was like uh yeah. yesterday or the day before that only is 2xko gonna be there i'm still not used to saying that but then also this game so i really want to try to head out there to try to get footage of all the stuff mm -hmm. but like there there is potential like the characters are cool you know, there's characters I, I liked right away on appearance. The characters I was like, man, fuck this guy immediately like, on site. <laughs> which which fighting uh, games yeah, need. No, fighting games feels real, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> fighting games need that. You need this maybe hot take. You should hate characters in fighting games, bro. That's the whole point. Yeah, like, if, someone if else you, likes that guy. Like thinking every character is cool, but if you don't have characters that you hate fighting in that game, then it doesn't mean that it's like they played it too safe or the game's not diverse enough. Someone else likes that. That's the whole point. Right, like, right. Someone like not you. You know, but someone else likes that. Like, someone else hates. Like <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and that's that's the beauty of it. So there's a lot of diversity. There's a, there's plenty of playstyles. A ton of mobility. It looks like too. Like at the beginning, we're like, yeah, mids, 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 mids. But by the by the middle, we're like, oh, there's move all this movement, all these unique characters, mm -hmm. all these like weird type of things they can mess around with, which I which I always think is really cool, uh, and much. Imagine a imagine a brand new fighting game called like Runner X Runner instead of Hunter X Hunter. I screwed up my bad. But they have Knuckle. They make Knuckle in that game. So, but it's Runner Runner though. So no one's ever heard of it, and they put that guy in there. People be like, dude, what is this? Mad random. In Hunter Hunter the fighting game, they're like, oh my god, they actually managed to pull off putting Knuckle in a fighting game right. the right way. You know what I mean? Like this, it's a really funny funny way to put it. It's a really safe area to do really weird stuff in a uh, licensed ip fighting game no this was this was way more fun uh than i thought it was gonna be let the let the people know where to find you oh for sure you can find me cool. everywhere at lotus asakura that's twitch twitter youtube lotus asakura I, yeah i think even if you type that in on instagram i show up my name's not lotus asakura there but it i still show up if you type that in so yeah anywhere you want to follow me that's where to find me First time doing this only because like this game, you know, it's it's real. It is coming and we know it's not Arena Fighter officially. So I definitely want to at least give it a try. Like and subscribe if you guys feel like it. We'll see you all next time. Peace out.
This video is brought to you by Iago. If you're learning Japanese, you can check out Iago. It's pretty much Anki if you heard of it, but it's a little bit more simple and uh, plug and play. It uses a special space repetition system to help you learn words effectively. And you can use the extension to hover over words on YouTube, Netflix, and Mind Senses. Or you could also add words manually from other sources like games and whatnot. When I was learning Japanese personally, uh, I used an extension that when you hovered over words, it would give you a translation. And that really helped me out a lot. So this extension is very relatable for me personally, especially if like you're into games. I mean, this is a fighting game channel, right? So there's so much Japanese fighting game slang that uh, you could just use this app to add in really easily. There will be a mobile app coming soon and you could follow at Learn with Iago for updates. Shout out again to Iago for sponsoring this video.